Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Tyson Denez. I run the Farming Simulator modding page, Denez Farms Farming Simulator modding. And today we're back, uh, we're back again with another uh, VCA uh, tutorial and demonstration. And this time we're going to be doing the 8-speed synchro on the John Deere 4020. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's open the VCA panel here. I got shuttle on. I got John Deere 8-speed synchro set. I got my axle speed here set to uh, 33, but it should actually be set to 30.9. I got single reverse gear off, automatic off, speed limiter on. Turn that off. And launch gear speed set to 1, so it'll start just when I get on the tractor, it's automatically in first gear. Uh, automatic clutch set to manual. And then uh, for the shifter mode, I've got uh, uh, four gears, range plus and minus, and then shuttle. Uh, it's a lot easier, I find it's a lot easier to use the shuttle than to try and get the six-speed shifter into reverse. But, um, so basically the way it works is one, two, three, four are your gears. And then when you, uh, when you go over to five and six, that's your, uh, range up and down for your stations. So the way this transmission works, for those of you who don't know, I actually do kind of have a better understanding of this one more than any of the other ones I've, uh, shown. Um, you've got... You got four stations and two gears in each station, and from what I understand, you got to be completely stopped, like on a quad range, to shift uh, from station to station. So your stations are your ranges, and then within there, you got a gear. And the way I set it up is so we're in station one here, and we can go to uh, station. This is actually set up different than I thought it was. Okay, so your stations are actually set up as um, as your gears. This is one of the first ones I set up, so I kind of forgot how I did it. So you got station one, two, three, four, and then if you go through your gears, you got uh, station one, gear two, which is uh, third gear. You go to station two, gear two, it's fifth gear. Do it again for uh, three, it's uh, seventh, and again uh, for fourth, it's eighth. So let's take this thing for a spin. So realistically, I'd have to I'd have to stop between shifting the gears or the the stations. But due to the way farm sim works, you pretty much have to shift it on the fly anyway. Uh, or at least the way VCA treats it. Uh, like like I said, it's not it's not a perfect simulation, but it's the best thing we've got. And I hope 22 is better, but I doubt it'll get that realistic for the transmission. So in real life, I can go like this. But I can't go like this to uh, station two in second gear. That's that would require me to come to a complete stop like this. So let's just take this thing around the block. Let's put it right here. good transmission but uh, I always I always fight with it on the hills here especially when I'm just trying to tow something down the road I don't know if it's just the way the tractors uh, power is set up or if I did something wrong uh, it's when flat on a flat map this transmission works perfectly fine though so it's a pretty Pretty simple trans, pretty simple synchro transmission. It, it's kind of complex when you kind of when you try to explain it, but if you if you guys have a shifter, you'll kind of you'll kind of get it. Basically, again, your ranges are actually gears on this one, and your gears are are ranges. I put it backwards because it makes it easier to shift it. So we'll just back this in here. Concludes the uh, tutorial and demonstration for the John Deere uh, 4010 and uh, 4020 8-speed uh, synchro. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.